Yes. How you do it, Miss Miracle Wave? Mm -mm. Looks like I'm having back spasms. What's up, Whiskey? Welcome back to my second video for BoxyCharm. I have six items in this big old dirty box here. And if you're interested in seeing what six items are about to be unboxed for the Boxy Premium box for February 2023, stay tuned. You know what to do. Talk to you in a minute. All right, y'all, this premium looks exactly, it's living up to its name, pre -me. Um, I am very excited about this. Like I said with the last unboxing, I don't remember what selections I picked. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get my selections. I don't remember anything. I have been MIA because I've been feeling so bad the last couple of weeks. I have been kinda MIA, I've made a couple of appearances, but I've really been trying my best to lay low, just trying to get over what this, whatever this funk is, so. Let's see, hopefully with this insert, I will actually get the prices and I won't get bamboozled like I did with the last insert where I just got that epic announcement and I'm bamboozled. So we are in the same vein with the treat your heart out, still with the heart, uh, still with the heart, still with the Valentine's theme for about Boxy of Charm. But um, let's see how I'm gonna be treating my heart out as a Valen Galentine. Oh my goodness, it looks like this same it looks like the same body wash company that made the body wash that I got in the, see, gosh, she's so big. The same um, company that made the body wash in the Citrus Blend, uh, I think that's the name of the flavor or the scent, is the same company that made, um, from the base box, is the same company that's making this for the Velvety Body Cream Unscented um, item. This is my first time getting a lotion and boxy charm in a minute. Let's see anything. Yep, I have to punch the insert. And it says that it's unscented, so it's not the same flavor as it was, which makes me kind of sad because you guys know I like things in series. Oh, Michael Myers. Here we go. All right, so let's dig them up. <clears throat> let's take a puff because even though sometimes it might say unscented, you might still have like a little faint smell. So I'm just going to put a little bit. See, I'm putting it on my hand. Like, why am I doing this on lotion? Why? Uh, but let's just pull this in. And I, my nose is a little compromised from the allergies and everything that's been going on. So... I do, I do still smell a faint smell, which is fine because some, certain people don't like fragrances. I am a fragrance freak, just like a body wash freak. I am a fragrance freak. Um, I don't need to, do, to be overpowering. I like some things that are toned down. Um, and I believe this is what you're going to get with this particular item. And it, oh goodness, it offers a quick absorbing, non-greasy 24-hour hydration. And it says it's kind to the skin. Okay, refreshments, how refreshing. So that's our first item. Um, the second item that we have is, oh, she's encapsulated. What is this? Yeah, let me grab my scissors because we'll be here all day. Even though I will be popping this later. Please comment down below if you like popping, popping. Popping, popping. If you like popping the plastic, gosh. And for those who don't, comment on below because you need to support those who, those of us. Oh, dose of colors that like to pop. Oh, dose of colors. I have not seen dose of colors in any of my variations as of late. I have like two items. I believe I have a highlighter from them, and I have um a lip gloss from them that I've never used because back in the day when I wasn't growing and on my stuff I used to not like lip gloss but now I believe I have a red lip gloss that's collecting this that I might try out and with this item just so you guys can see this is an eyeshadow it says block party eyeshadow and I might have to do that thing that we're supposed to do to help it focus but oh my goodness this is so oh wow this is so pretty this reminds me of a shadow that I used to use back in the day with Iman. Iman had a shadow that I didn't even know Iman had makeup. Full transparency, yes, where have I been? Back when I was in college, so I was like over 15, no, over 17 years ago, um, there was a specific shadow. I believe it was called Stardust Rose or something like that that had this same shimmer and she actually discontinued and I was never able to find it again. Um, but this is so pretty, so enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch her 
just so you can see on my finger and I'm gonna put it right here because I have a feeling we might have an eyeshadow palette palette in here and I want to put up enough room for the other palette so this is what she looks like on my hand I think this is going to go couple very oh there it goes this is going to couple very well with my skin tone or any skin tone you're going to get a pop with this a lot of shimmer but this can be a great transition shade this could be a big, a great shadow shade oh shadow shade this could be a great lid shade this could, this is just very very exciting so i'm excited about this so thank you dose of color so that's item number two item number three is going to be a pout perfect liquid lipstick by ace Beauté. Ooh. And it is in the color Manifest. So I believe, based on what I see right there, we might have a nudie in here. Come on, nudie. Nothing wrong with being a little nudie. So, oh! The, listen. Listen, it's been a while since I've had an ex exaggerated presentation. Something extra in this box. This alone. Oh, my goodness. But wait, wait, wait. When I think of Pout Perfect Liquid Lipstick, Okay, this said nothing about a duo. Oh wow, I don't know why I was thinking it was gonna come with a lip, a lip liner and a lipstick, but this is, this looks like the mummy. It looks like Emotep. Emotep, Emotep. Have you ever seen the mummy? I love the mummy. Oh my, wow. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, Ace Vitae, let me find out. How do you open this? Do I twist her? The component itself, sorry. Just so you guys can see, I don't think I can focus enough on it. The component is beautiful. I love the presentation. Or is it, okay, this is how you open it. You don't pull this way like I was doing. You just untwist it from here from what it looks like. And we're gonna pull out an applicator doe foot and we're gonna pull out magic. Okay, I'm trying to, guys. My lashes are so long that the light is, I'm blocking the light whenever I close my eyes and look down like this. So that's why I'm leaning in like grandma. So if you guys wanna take a peek, that's the color we're working with. And I'm gonna put this right underneath this beautiful shimmer from Dose of Colors. And there we go surprisingly you of course you can see it this is not as deep well not as deep excuse me this isn't as brilliant as what I thought because when I first opened it up I thought this was going to be super light but from what I can see even with the light the two lights reflecting off of this this is going to be good this might couple well with the lip liner I might need to bring that in whenever I do my try on this is beautiful I'm excited about this as well thank you Ace Butte. that's item number three let's go to item number four our fourth item is going to be from Eloise. Delve into the secret garden and glow palette to find a gorgeous range of highly pigmented 3D blushers that will add an entrancing, beautiful, glowy warmth to any look. Whoever wrote this, wrote this with a quill. I felt like Shakespeare wrote that. Secret Garden 3D Blush and Glow Palette by Eloise. If Shakespeare wrote that, then the people who created the Sistine Chapel created this because this is absolutely beautiful. Y'all, these colors are so pigmented. So yeah, let's get to swatching. Shut up, girl. Get to swatching. Oh, goodness. All right. And I'm going to swatch this. But I need to know what are the color names. We need a name with the face. Okay. There's no name. So we're going to color call this first one here. Just so you can see what I'm swatching whenever you get yours. We're going to call that first one Primrose. This is the hybrid, the first hybrid at the top. And that's Primrose. That's not a good swatch. Go back. I'm so delicate with my makeup. Sometimes you got to get in there and get dirty to get pretty. Ooh, that's a bar. And then we're going to go in with the second one on the top next to Primrose. We're gonna, we're gonna call her Chrysanthemum, even though I don't even know if that's really a good color for a Chrysanthemum, because I don't know my colors. Don't know my botany. And this right here is Chrysanthemum at the top. Nope, not a good swatch, go back in. Okay, that's chrysanthemum on top. And lastly, 
Let us swatch, I'm just gonna do three. I'm gonna swatch the next hybrid really hard. There we go, girl. Get that rosy riveter. That's what we're gonna call this one, rosy riveter. There we go. And that is the last hybrid at the bottom, right here. These are gonna look so good on my skin. As you guys have seen in the last videos, which I encourage you guys, if you haven't seen them, me and blush, we don't get along sometimes. And that is the whole purpose of this channel, is for me to get myself into makeup and understand things and try things out and, not stop, wearing, and stop wearing the same three products. Get out there, try to learn a contour. Yes, I lied to you guys. Yes, I lied. I said February we learn about brows. I was about to talk about brows. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that in March. But shut up. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my goodness, Beauty Bakery. If you if you saw my first video with this, well, I don't know if this, I'm going to upload this one first or the, sec, or the base box second. I'm not sure. But this is so cute. <laughs> it is a stick of butter. Like a big stick of butter. It is a primer from what it looks like. The Hydra Silk Primer. Oh my goodness. Let me, let me see if I can open this. That is so cool and that is so inventive. So from what I'm gathering, it's a be whole beauty theme. It's a beauty theme. It's a whole baking food theme. And they make their products look like actual pieces, articles of food. So I think that that is so cute. So this is a primer and everyone knows whenever you were doing your skin, the first step after you're done with your, a good skincare and a good cleansing, you need to be able to put on some primer. So let's get her open. Oh, let me show you the component first before I even start getting and digging in there. That is so cute. Let me open it. Oh, okay, it's a stick primer. This is the first time I've seen something like this. So it's a stick primer and it looks like I'm gonna be rolling this bad boy on here. It's not a spray yet. It is a stick primer so you guys can see. Let me see if I can prime a spot where I did not put the Eloise. I am, oh good, right there. If you guys can see right in the crease of my knuckle, that's where I put the primer on. And if, if I'm imagining this correctly as I should, I'm a great base foundation for me to apply my foundation because there's different ways that you can put on your foundation but I'm a, I'm very simple because I'm learning I like to put on my primer first and then my foundation and then my concealer some people do the concealer and then the foundation but I think this is a pretty decent start okay first impression not bad and now last yes I did it again I did it again my next product is going to be the eyeshadow palette the star of the show the Ciate London Royal Edition 24 piece eyeshadow palette this looks like royalty this looks like something straight from Buckingham Palace I'm gonna go ahead and open this this looks like something the guard is walking through and they're doing their they're walking through and they're doing their guardly duties and they're looking over and making sure that everybody's okay it looks like they're holding this go ahead Ciate London I am very happy about this <laughs> Yes, Ciate London does it again. I've had a couple of their palettes before. Very pigmented, very pretty. And if you can see, they're all, they all have a royal theme for their names. We have Palace, Prince, Tiara, Duchess, Empress, Royal Blue, Jubilee, Queen, Corgi. Oh my goodness, Corgi, because if I remember correctly, Prince, Prince, excuse me, Queen Elizabeth, rest in peace, she liked to use, she liked Corgis. So she had a, Every, I believe every palace dog that she's had while she was in, in, uh, while she reigned, she had corgis. I think corgis are the cutest little short animals besides the chihuahuas and my Yorkies, but this is so cute. And of course it comes with the mirror, so a good size mirror. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to swatch on the underside of my arm. I'm going to pick the shadow that speaks to me the most, which of course is going to be Princess. And Princess is a beautiful, almost orange, burnt brown color. Burnt brown. And I'm gonna swatch that one, okay. Go ahead, Princess. Ooh, boy. Yes. How you do it, Miss America Wave? Mm -mm. Looks like I'm having back spasms. So, who's next? We're also gonna pick Palace Gardens. This is a beautiful green. Okay, this is Palace Gardens right here. 
Come on, palace. Because while I'm walking with my Yorkies, Yorkies, while I'm walking with my Yorkies, as a princess in the palace garden, you see that in the middle? Every princess needs a diamond. Oh, wow. That's that diamond. Oh, wow. It looks exactly what it sounds like. It looks like an iced out diamond. Oh, this is super awkward that I did it this way. You guys see it? Oh, maybe, you know, you'll see it better on my finger. That is diamonds. This is so pretty, y'all. Let me get cleaned up so we can talk about this because we got a lot to unpack. Okay, let's get back. Let's talk about this box. This box more than makes up for that lackluster base box that we just got. There is not, and I'm not gassing you guys, there is not one product in here that has me scared. Every single thing in this box I can see on my skin without any kind of reservation. Um, the most exciting, and it's not, yes, I'm knocking what uh, my obvious normal choice is with the palette. This, I'm more excited about this Eloise. I'm trying to wake my face up. I'm trying to give my face more of a pop and stop using all of my neutral colors and my safe colors. These colors are so beautiful. Get a second look at it, guys. My rose, my rosy rivet or my chrysanthemums. I'm pretty sure that's not the name that um, Eloise gave them, but that's what name we have because I don't see it anywhere on the component what the real names are. Um, I'm very excited about this. I think this is going to go couple great. Um, and I'll try my best to make sure that with my second item that I'm really excited about, that I can pick colors that work in harmony, work in tandem with this, with the Eloise palette, with this. This is very exciting. I'm not just excited because it's an eyeshadow palette, clearly. I'm excited because I have a pretty decent variation of colors. We have some blues, like it says, some royal blues. We have some greens up here. We have some shimmers. We have a pretty, this is this is a pretty decent size palette, as well as it's pretty, it's sleek to where I can stick it in my drawer. It's just, there's just everything going on well with this. 